All right, fellas, what's going on? Denano here, the man with black privilege. And we got ourselves a new Flash episode of the day. <clears throat> hmm, excuse me. Can't talk. But um, in this episode, Barry and company were trying to figure out how to increase his speed, so to speak. And they made a whole formula that pretty much, you know, he had to figure out in order to make himself go as fast as Zoom and uh, Re Reverse Flash did. Because I think they went 30% faster than him. And that was the reason why he can't beat him is because he's slower. So they try to figure it out. Barry re Barry's reading all all of these books and he just can't figure it out. So he gets the idea to, oh, let me go back in time a year ago and get the answer from, from uh, Reverse Flash. <laughs> and uh, in this episode, uh, I want to say the current Harrison Welsh tries to talk him out of it saying, hey, look, if you do this. You know, time is going to change. Something's going to happen, and, and only you know what the changes are going to be. And that could be for the best, and it could be also for the worst. People could die, some people could live. And, you know, Barry saw this as his only option. So he was like, you know, let me go ahead and do it anyway. So he goes back through time. And I think this is an interesting idea. Because while he's going back, he sees uh, this wraith in the... Uh, speed force time stream whatever you want to call it and before he makes it back he like kind of dodges it and then he goes you know comes you know comes out of the time stream and he's back in time now i have to catch up on my flash lore but i think this is a uh, something they pulled from the comic books where he can outrun death whenever he does that whole time travel thing i don't know if this is the tv show spin on that or I could just be completely wrong because I haven't read Flash in a really long time. So, But I think that's what this kind of sort of reminded me of. When I first seen it, I was like, oh, snap. That's when, <laughs> you know. And because I know in uh, one of the newer uh, comic books, Death actually catches up with Flash. And he pretty much Flash becomes the embodiment of Death. <laughs> so I don't know if that's pretty much a reboot of an older story. Or if this is just something that, you know, they're just pulling a little story thread into this episode from the newer comic books, I don't know. But I think this was in one of the older Flash comic books as well, but I thought that was a really cool idea. So when he makes it back in time, he sees his previous self fighting, uh, I forget what his name is, but it's like Harrison Wells' assistant. Uh, the one that used to be his assistant until he went crazy and they had to stop him and everything. And uh, <laughs> he tries to take out his self <laughs> using this uh, tranquilizer dart thing that uh, Caitlin made for him that was going to knock him out in six hours. But his future self, or his past self, I should say, tried to fight back. <laughs> and they had a little scuffle before he finally stabbed them with this uh, tranquilizer dart. So then he went around to uh, you know the police station and uh, Star Labs and was posing as his past self trying to talk to the reverse flash about you know hey look you know i got this formula and you know i'm you know i need you to solve it but the problem was he couldn't act the same <laughs> so uh he got found out and this is when the episode really got good for me because before that it was like all right you know he's gonna get found out right but I thought it was going to be like towards the end of the episode, but it was like halfway in. He got he, he got caught <laughs> and uh, reverse flash knocked him out and they pretty much held him captive in his little future room, <laughs> interrogating him, like wondering like who he is, where he's from and all this kind of sort of stuff. And uh, the reverse flash kind of put it together. It was like, hold on, you're from the future. So if if you're from the future, then that means my plan does not succeed because I don't kill you. <laughs> And then uh, he tries to kill him. <laughs> he does a little um, hand vibration thing. And before he could stab Barry with his hand, Barry pretty much calmed him down and explains like, no, look, you, you won. <laughs> you didn't kill me, but you made it back <laughs> to your future. And he tells him pretty much what happened at the end of season one. Uh, when the particle accelerator you know, thing happened and it opened up the black hole and he threw him in there and everything. He didn't tell him that uh, uh, the, the cop guy Eddie he didn't tell him that he died but he just told him that he made it back to his future and everything like that as far as he knows 
So Harrison or Harrison Wells reverse flash didn't didn't kill him. <laughs> so the problem is is as they were talking, this uh, this this time wraith, that's what they called him, uh, came out of you know, came out the time stream with Barry and has been following uh, following him around Central City trying to actually kill him. And it's been going to the police station. It popped up at Star Labs and they don't know how to beat this thing. So what happens is Reverse Flash is, you know, like, all right, well, we have to, you know, they they have to team up in order to fight this thing, you know, and in doing so, they kind of sort of, I'm not going to say befriend one another, <laughs> but, um, but basically they take some of the technology from Harrison Wells' assistant, those little musical sound wave device things that he has because when the Wraith came and attacked Star Labs he 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 kind of used his tech to kind of drive the thing away he didn't kill it but he drove it away so that it you know had to come back you know later on in the episode so they were going to use some of his technology to try to figure out you know how to kill this thing and as Barry was off at the police station try to you know gathering evidence as far as how they could actually stop this thing because he attacked Barry's uh, uh, CSI lab and destroyed you know a whole bunch of stuff so he was analyzing all that stuff and he you know Eddie's alive in this time period and in the present time period uh, Iris is having a hard time moving on from Eddie's death Barry being the person that he is gets Eddie to record a little video clip basically getting Eddie to explain to the camera or to Iris rather you know how he feels about it you know they're going to save that to the last part of the episode where Barry actually gives him gives Iris that video clip and that convinces her to I guess move on and start dating you know her boss which I assume is going to happen in the future episodes but as Barry was off doing all of that <laughs> Uh, past Barry shows up at Star Labs talking about where's the imposter <laughs> and and they were all like what the fuck <laughs> and then that's when present day Barry walked in and and he pretty much was like alright look you know I'm from the future yada 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 they had the whole back and forth and uh, Reverse Flash was, was trying to get him to be quiet and to shut up because every time he tells them what's going on and everything it can mess something up and he knows that but at the same time he doesn't want to say oh yeah me and Barry has been working this problem together you know so, since he can't say that to him he was kind of just filling him in with certain certain things that, to keep the conversation moving a certain way one that didn't direct you know their focus on him <laughs> and why he didn't seem surprised by the whole thing but but as they were doing that they pretty much um, didn't really figure out a way to beat this this time rate thing and the only idea that they had was just pretty much leave it there <laughs> but um, basically what they were going to do <clears throat> uh, Reverse Flash explained to Barry that these time rate things are something that exists within the time stream and whenever something is changed they pretty much seek out the person who changed it and then try to kill him for it so they couldn't actually destroy the thing so what they did was they present day Barry uh, got the information from Reverse Flash. I'm trying to remember everything that's going on, so sorry if I'm spacing out what I'm actually saying. Um, I know it's been a few hours since I've seen the episode, but uh, he got what you know the answer to the formula that he needed from um, Reverse Flash. Although when he gave it to him, he didn't actually tell him, "Look, here's the answer to make you go faster." He kind of gave him. What I assume, they haven't really said what it was yet, but they basically showed him a bunch of information of what I assume is going to be generic future future data, you know, um, about the speed force and stuff like that. And uh, he told him that um, I'm not going to hold your hand through the whole thing. So I'm assuming they got to decipher the information that they gave him to figure out the answer. He already told Barry that it has something to do with the tachyon particles. Um, and that's why he's able to go faster, but he, he didn't explain how to use that knowledge, you know, so that's what I'm assuming they have to decipher. And um, 
So after he got that, what they pretty much did was Barry was going to run back to the present. And in doing so, this time Earth came back up again and was following him, trying to kill him. And he ran back to the present. But in doing so, he got away from this time wraith. However, that wasn't going to stop it. So when he got back to the present, you know, their plan was that Caitlyn and Cisco <clears throat> were going to have a whole year to figure out this problem. That way, when he got back to the present, they would already know how to stop it. So as soon as he came back, he went to him and was like, look, how do I stop this thing? And immediately, you know, the thing came up and tried to kill Barry. And in doing so, Cisco had like this little sound wave gun device thing that kind of weakened it but didn't kill it but then the the same guy Harrison Wells assistant pops up and he uh shot him with his new version of those glove things that he wears and that actually destroyed the actual time rate and everything and I guess that was the one thing that changed from him going back in time is that I don't remember him dying in the in the previous season I could be wrong but Essentially, he reformed himself, became good, and, you know, he's helping them on occasion. So, that, that's the one thing that changed. I think there are going to be a few changes, to be honest. This will be a really cool way for them to introduce other characters and changes to the present season. You know, because of him time traveling, because anything could be different, you know. So, yeah, it, it, it may be like 95% the same, but... You know, he he can get back and like Wally West in this, he he could be white like he is in the comic books versus black how he is in the show. You know, <laughs> this would be a really cool idea. I wish they would do that, but they probably won't. But uh, this episode was pretty cool. You know, it, 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 it kind of sort of I was hoping because you just had the Supergirl episode yesterday as well where he was on that. And he had this little uh, look like um, Harrison Wells chest device thing that he wears for the tachyon emissions although it did seem a little bit smaller so i don't know if that was the same device or not but in supergirl he showed up wearing that and he was like oh yeah i've been trying to you know experimental ways to get faster i was hoping that wells was going to help him fashion this tachyon device or you or give him his so he can use it to get back home <laughs> you know like something was going to happen where he wasn't going to be able to get back home and he had to use this device that way when he left this episode in his show he went to supergirl and then you know went from there and went back home that's but they didn't do that so it's kind of separate i guess you could say it happened because you know why not but it's just certain things don't add up unless in a future episode they have him going off and hopping dimensions again maybe when he goes back to earth 2 maybe he's going to be wearing that device in order to get back because the speed cannon got messed up so maybe that's when the Supergirl episode is supposed to happen in his timeline. But um, I was going to make an, um, another review episode about that episode specifically because that was pretty good. But you didn't really get a lot happening other than Supergirl and Barry's chemistry going back and forth. Really like that. Still didn't like how Supergirl was cheesy as all hell. And that's the one main reason I can't get into it. But other than that, I liked that episode. I liked him being there it makes me mad that the uh, the movies can't get certain shit right but yet the tv shows can but anyways guys sorry for rambling on for about 13 minutes but um i'll see you guys next week my name is Ananu, the man with black privilege and i'll see you guys next week peace out